Another investigation right now bring you up to date on another mystery and dangerous drama unfolding, and this one in Washington, D.C. Today, parts of the Capitol building were evacuated after a suspicious package was found. It turned out to be a false alarm, but as we reported last night, a terror investigation is underway there because of a letter sent to a senator testing positive for a type of poison called ricin. And today, a second letter found addressed to the president. It is a poison that can kill within 36 hours. There is no antidote. ABC senior national correspondent Jim Avila with this investigation. Hazmat suited inspectors today in Maryland gathering evidence, perhaps linked to a suspected poison lace letter addressed to the president of the United States and a Mississippi senator. While on Capitol Hill, mail delivery is stopped and staff warned not to open unsealed envelopes. All staff and other personnel are directed to avoid this area until further notice. The fear, ricin, easily made from castor beans by would-be bioterrorists. If you ingested enough of it, um, it could be very damaging uh, and it could kill you. Two letters, one addressed to President Obama, another to Mississippi Senator Roger Wicker, showed initial positive results for ricin in not always reliable field tests. The letters never reached the White House or Capitol. The mail sent here is screened and that these tests are undertaken at remote sites to mitigate the risk. The first addressed to Senator Wicker was stopped in suburban Maryland, 10 miles from its intended target on Capitol Hill. The second letter to the White House was intercepted six and a half miles away on a military base on the outskirts of D.C. A third post office sorting facility suffered possible contamination to its filtering system from an unknown source, some 10 miles from downtown Washington. Protections, including air sensors at screening centers, set up after the anthrax attacks in 2001 that killed five Americans and injured 17 others in this country's worst ever bioterrorist attack. It happened just after 9-11. Today's apparent attempt, so close to another incident of domestic terror, is an eerie reminder of those frightening days. Now, the FBI is investigating the suspected poisonous letters, both of which contain the same weird, almost indecipherable message. But so far, no suspects. Diane? And Jim, now we want to bring in Richard Clark, an ABC News consultant and who was the national counterterrorism advisor at the White House under two administrations. Dick, can you trace this envelope containing ricin? We may be able to. Ricin leaves a trail, a trail of breadcrumbs, if you will, Right now, federal authorities are going to the post office in Memphis, where this was postmarked. Uh, they're going to try to find it there, little traces of, anthra of, of ricin, just as we did with anthrax in 2001. In 2001, we were able to trace it back to a particular mailbox in Princeton, New Jersey, uh, with the anthrax. It may be possible to do that with the ricin. So there is hope on that front. No reason to believe there's a connection between that and Boston at this point? There's no evidence, uh, and my gut says... This is a coincidence. Let's turn to Boston now because you've told us that there were a couple of lucky events on this awful day. Well, the two main streams of evidence, uh, putting the bomb back together again, uh, good news there because the bomb didn't detonate very well and there's a lot of it left. So a lot of it has already been put back together. Uh, and the other stream of evidence is uh, the surveillance tape. Uh, and there's good news there, too, apparently, that they have some faces. Uh, so we may be in one of those cases that gets cracked quickly. Too early to tell yet, but we may know very soon. And in terms of putting it together, you reminded us that they put back together the plane at Lockerbie, Pan Am 103. Pan Am 103 was a 747 that blew up at altitude, spread over 100 square miles. The FBI put that plane back together, just as they are today putting the bombs back together. All right. I know you're going to be standing by with us throughout the evening as we bring everyone the very latest developments. Thanks, Dick.